We will support the decision regarding the future made by the majority of residents of the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics, as well as the Zaporizhia and Kherson regions. The West's aggressive policy against Russia has crossed all boundaries. We constantly hear threats directed at our country and people, which is deeply concerning. Certain irresponsible politicians in the Western countries not only discuss intentions to arrange shipments of long-range offensive weaponry to Ukraine, but also plan to deploy systems that would enable attacks on Crimea and other regions of Russia. Terrorist attacks, including those utilizing Western weapons, are already being executed in border settlements located in the Belgorod and Kursk regions. Nuclear blackmail was a factor. It involves not just the shelling of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is encouraged by the West and poses a risk of nuclear disaster, but also the statements made by certain high-ranking officials from leading NATO nations regarding the potential and acceptability of employing nuclear weapons, weapons of mass destruction, against Russia. To those who make such statements about Russia, I want to remind them that our country also possesses diverse means of defeat. In fact, in certain components, our capabilities are even more advanced than those of NATO countries. In the event of a threat to our country's territorial integrity, we will undoubtedly use all available means to protect Russia and its people. We are committed to ensuring the safety and security of our nation at all costs. This is not a bluff. Those who try to blackmail us with nuclear weapons should know that Rosa Vetrov is not to be underestimated.